Hey, thanks for watching CNN 10. Our daily 10 minute shows are on pause for the summer, but we will be posting clips like this Monday through Friday until our regular programming resumes in August. So please enjoy, and to get notified of our content, please like and subscribe to this channel and keep up with us at CNN10.com. This is Pink Tag. She's a Eurasian beaver. Pink Tag and her family live on the River Otter in Devon, and they are some of the first wild beavers in England for around 400 years. Historically, beavers were hunted for their pelts. The desire for beaver fur is what really changed the game for beavers. In the, between the, sort of the 16th and the 18th century, there was a huge desire to have these beaver felt hats, and that nearly wiped out the Eurasian beaver species. What people didn't realise is how important beavers are to the landscape. The dams they build regulate water flow, increase biodiversity and even drive down pollution. In short, beavers are what are known as ecosystem engineers. Beavers build dams and canals for their own protection. The dams raise the surrounding water, which helps them escape from predators. But wetting the landscape has a greater impact. It also slows the water flow, reducing floods downstream in the wet season and drought in the dry season. As the climate crisis worsens, experts warn that areas like Devon are expected to see more flooding. But a recent study on beavers in England showed that their dams can reduce average flood waters by up to 60%. There is a climate crisis going on, there's a biodiversity crisis going on, and this is a species that could help solve both of those issues. The organisation behind reintroducing beavers to Devon is the Devon Wildlife Trust. But before they released any beavers into the wild, ecologists ran a trial on how beavers might change the landscape. So this is a three hectare enclosure that was built in 2010. What can you see? That's right, that's the dam there. That goes all the way across, so it's about 40 metres long. When we put them in here and started to see what they did to the watercourse, it was really profound. You know, we all suddenly became much more conscious of just how powerful this animal was. The Trust received permission to release beavers into the wild in 2015. It was the first licence in England to do so, and the effect on the River Otter Basin was dramatic. This pond has been created by the beavers, so they've built a small dam that has increased the water level in this area. That's enabled them to build a lodge on this island. Beaver Lodge is the home of beavers. The entrance to the lodge is underwater. And right now, we've probably got the adult pair in this island, along with kits from this summer and the previous summer. So there might be eight beavers in that lodge right now. There's also been a huge increase in biodiversity as the wetland habitat attracts water voles, otters, amphibians and bird life. But beavers can cause trouble. For one, they're big. Beavers like Pink Tag can weigh up to 30 kilograms or 66 pounds. That's quite a big dog. Um, we've had fishermen telling us stories that they've been a bit scared whilst fishing close to beavers. They also can waterlog farmland and eat orchard trees. So a big part of Chant and Elliot's job is working with local landowners to make sure everyone is happy. But overall, beavers are a huge benefit to ecosystems and society. And nations across Europe are working to restore them to their original range. It's been a hugely successful conservation story. Beavers were reduced to around 1,200 back in the 1920s, and now there are over a million beavers within Europe. Tell us what you're doing to preserve the health of the planet for future generations. Send us your messages on social media using the hashtag CallToEarth. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe to our newsletter at CNN10.com, and we'll see you in August for daily episodes of CNN 10. I'm Carl Azus.